Hey guys, it's Beardly Honest here, and um, today is Try Tuesday. <clears throat> if you guys saw the video from a couple days ago where we got our very first, I don't know if you call it sponsored, it's definitely free. Uh, RossBarsFire.com reached out to me, loved the channel, loved all the unboxings and various subscriptions that we do, and wanted me to try out their November Ross Spice Bar uh, package. And so with Ross Spice Bar, it's a monthly subscription where you get uh, three spices a month. Uh, I, I don't know the number off the top of my head, but I think it's $8 a month. If you go to BeardlyOss.com, you'll check that out. Uh, I'll have the, I don't have the webpage up right this second as I'm taping the video, but hopefully I'll have it up in the next day or two for you guys to be able to see uh, everything you want to know about RossSpiceBar.com. Or you can just go right to their website at RossSpiceBar.com. Uh, but if you go to BeardlyHonest.com, you've got a, a list of what RossBiceBar.com is and the other subscriptions that we have that we do here on the channel. You can also find our Instagram feed, our uh, Facebook page, and the Twitter feed as well on there. As, uh, and so what we'll do is, uh, I think what we're probably going to end up doing tonight for this is we'll take you actually firsthand into the kitchen, show you some of the, the recipes that are being made, and then we'll go from there and you guys will be able to see uh, probably either taste stuff in the kitchen or back here in the office where we do all the shooting. And so uh, take a second real quick. Thank you to all those guys that, guys and girls, I say guys, but guys is plural for both, both sexes, both guys and girls. If you've hit that subscribe button, I love you. If you're gonna hit that subscribe button, I'll love you too. Uh, just make sure you hit that button. Uh, we do wanna make sure that you guys know we're getting closer and closer every day to the 100 subscriber mark and we've got tons and tons of stuff that we want to give away so if you're not subscribed on either the Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or uh, the YouTube channel the YouTube channel is primarily what we want to look for as far as subscription goes yeah so if you want to be entered to win anything from our giveaways hit that subscribe button down below but until then I'm gonna take you guys in the kitchen and show you what, what's gonna be made and hopefully we'll have some more tasting here back in the office Hey guys, and we're back. Uh, so what we're doing now is I'm going to give you kind of an overhead view of the kitchen with uh, the wife kind of making all the different things. You can, you'll see hands and some stuff going in, but she's already preheated the oven. Uh, we're working on the, the donuts right now, so I'm going to do the overhead shots while she's uh, putting in the um, putting the recipe together. So the pumpkin donuts call for. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Can you see that? It's tough to do with two hands here. Okay, there you go. So hopefully you guys have read that by now. So she's just doing the eggs. A lot of sugar, nine and a half cups of sugar. Well, they're donuts. <sighs> yeah, we're just going to move to the bigger bowl. There you go. Yeah. Do you need the mixer too or no? No. Nope. Okay. We're going to do this by hand. Well, she's mixing that up. You also oop, limited by the cable here. We've got mini pans, we got big donuts, and we got little donuts. So hopefully the recipe will allow us to do a little bit more. And please excuse my camera work because I'm not I'm using a tripod to extend over the the stove and stuff here. Next is the good part, the pumpkin. Ooh. You're gonna make them sick. <laughs> Probably. This may be a truly edited video here. Yes. <laughs> this may not be a one taker. <laughs> no, they're gonna see the, the full fledged your cinematics of it. Your skills? Yes. You like one of those gyroscopic uh, stand things. 
You know what I'm talking about? No. Like what the guy used at our wedding. Oh, the it, to like hold the self stabilizing it still. stuff. Yeah. All right. So now there's our pumpkin. We're gonna mix that all together. It's got a real pumpkin in it. Yeah. They're baked pumpkin donuts. But then we have this. This is the unpumpkin pie spice. Which has Whole ginger, cinnamon, allspice, berries, star anise, and nutmeg. So I believe we use the whole thing. You tell little, me, I'm just filming here. Handy little pull off tab. Ooh, that smells good. Yeah, it smells like pumpkins. Okay. We'll mix that up. You see, she, she bakes too as kind of like a side business. And one of the things she makes a lot of is cupcakes. And so you can see the sign there. That was something her mom made for her. Was it last Christmas? Yeah. And you can hear my phone in the background. <laughs> Definitely one take vlog, guys. You get the raw, unedited video. You get us. Crazy life. So then we have some salt. One and a half teaspoons. And then we have one and a half teaspoons baking powder, which I've got here. That in. Oh my jeez. Phone. phone. And now, one and three fourths cup flour. That's a lot of batter. Yeah, and the one thing that I don't know is how many it makes. It doesn't say how many donuts it makes. We'll fill up the pans, and that's what we can use. Yeah, we'll we'll do a couple batches probably, but it's about one half. One. What's the pot in the pan for? Um, the pot for our next recipes. Oh, okay. I got everything all ready to go here. Yeah, we're making the pumpkin uh, donuts. We're making some like chai tea and then some like scrambled eggs. That we're doing scrambled eggs. Something like that. Sorry if I don't say that right, guys. I apologize. Let me know in the comments how to say that if I say it incorrectly. We'll show you the recipe and then you guys can tell us. Okay. So we'll mix this all together. How it comes together. Could do this in a mixer, but it comes together just fine on its own. Uh oh. Stuff has fallen. Just gotta use some elbow grease. There you go. Okay, so then you gotta spray the pans with some cooking spray. We already did that though. Ooh. Back into stuff. Where are you going? I didn't, I gotta spray them. Ah, so you guys see the flame. All right. I'll let her do it the other way. We'll keep it over here. I'll show you. Get up, get up. There we go. Sprayed. I'll try to find a link for these pans too. They're pretty awesome. I like them. So you just fill up your donuts. If they're baked donuts, they're healthy donuts, right? Sure. They got vegetables in them, so they must be healthy for you. Of course. So 
So there's a couple of those, and then we'll just fill a couple of these, and then we'll pop them in the oven, and we'll show them to you when they're all done. Food Network got nothing on us. <laughs> It also says you can use a muffin pan if you don't have a donut pan. So you can use like little pumpkin muffins, which would work too. So we'll, f we'll finish filling these up and then we'll stick them in the oven. And we'll, when we come back, we'll show you how we make the tea and the eggs. And so this is number two, recipe number two that we're making here. So hopefully you guys can, oh, there's a little shiny, so we'll do it this way. You guys see that? There's the peppercorn masala chai, which I think is some kind of tea. So she's got a big pot, or the not a big pot, but a little pot going back here, so she can put the water in there. Some milk. And some milk. We're only doing half though. Oh yeah, we're doing a half recipe because we think that we don't really know how much this is supposed to make. Probably four. Four what? Four like for four people maybe. Uh, I don't know. Cause it's a lot of liquid, so we'll just do half of it. Okay. And we'll put in our peppercorn chai, yep. which has all of that in it. Okay. And it says to put that in. Let me look at the recipe quick. Over medium heat. We're gonna kind of let this steep a little. Plus some sugar. Sweeten it up a little bit. So it's just milk, sugar, and spices? And then tea. Which we have some tea, loose leaf tea. That we, I think we got from Tivana. Yeah, we don't have it marked though. We just have it in this little skeptical little. Yeah, it looks a little sketchy, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I promise it's tea, guys. It's not. It's not the other stuff that they just voted to make legal. This is. This is. But it smell. It's just like a regular black tea. I don't remember what we got, but. I wonder if it's the monkey tea. Maybe. It was like monkey kip or monkey something or other. So we'll put in three teaspoons of that. That's a lot of tea. That's what I'm thinking. This is probably like for four, three to four people. People. Okay. So it just says to let that steep, let the milk come to a boil. We can let that go and start the next thing. Yeah, I guess the next thing is eggs. Yes, the the Duvin eggs. So I don't know how to say this, guys. A Duvin scrambled eggs. This is the the recipe card that you guys can see. Which we're gonna do two different types because he doesn't like tomato, and instead of red chilies, I just picked up a jalapeno. But for his, I'm doing green pepper because he also doesn't like spicy as much as I do. Right. So we'll just do a little half and half. With that too. And we got a little milk. close-up shots of the bowl. <laughs> oh my goodness. We are not putting him in charge of the camera. This is why I sit behind the camera, people. Hey, gotta get the raw footage, man. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess. So, we're gonna put a little butter in our pan. Let that heat up. Some spices. I'm 
whisking action. But I already cut up everything. So that one's for mine with tomatoes, onions, and jalapenos. And this one is for him, which is just onions and green peppers. Heck yeah. Some stuff right there. Mix that and we'll put in about half the spice, about a third of the spice, because we're actually not doing six total eggs, we're doing about four eggs. Sorry, I had to move the camera away, guys. She's going to sneeze on it. <laughs> I sneezed away. Okay, so we're going to mix in his stuff here. And go in. And we'll cook you some eggs. You make a nice little omelet. Yeah, it smells really good. The spices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, scrambled eggs. So we'll just do our thing here. Donuts are cooking. Just check in on the tea. Tea's kind of getting bubbly. We'll mix that around a little bit more. It's to stabilize it. Again, this is why I get in charge of the camera. We'll be fine. Or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry guys. Got a noob on the camera here. And here it looks like they they serve it with like non bread or something like that. Would be kinda good. Mm. I almost eat them normally. Well yeah. Hey. Oh, I got. There you go. Oh. Take that out. You grab yourself a small plate. Just a stew bowl. Okay. And a bowl of eggs. They look thicker than normal scrambled eggs. Well, usually we make our scrambled eggs on a skillet. I make mine in the pan. Well, when I make you eggs, they're usually on the skillet. They've got a lot of stuff in them too, though. The peppers and stuff fluff them up a bit more. Probably add just about anything to this, though. Mm-hmm. Whatever you would like. We're still warming up over there. It needs to come to a boil, but that's the slow burner. Those are pretty much done. Yep. So we'll take his out. I can make mine up real quick. up the pepper pretty small so it would cook a little bit but it'll probably still be kind of crunchy okay no. I 
heat. And try these bad boys out. They smell really good. Alright, I'm gonna put you on the tripod here, guys. Probably be grateful. <laughs> there we go. Huh. Yeah, those are hot. Hmm. Those are, those are not bad. What you think? It's definitely a different kind of egg that I've tried. pretty basic the eggs are just like maybe a little salt maybe a little pepper so this mm -hmm. is something a little different for you hear me munching on them in the background they got a little bit of kick to them like a little bit of a spice the spice yes it's starting to sneak up on me the more and more that i eat it For something special. For something I've never tried before, it's definitely worth trying. Probably not something I'll try again, but I'll probably end up eating the rest of these eggs. So that says something about it. This was the other recipe, which sounds kind of good with that spice too, like a soup. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's the butternut squash. Ooh, ooh, we're boiling here. Ooh. Our tea is boiling. And this is what it looks like with the tomato. <laughs> mm, yeah. I'm going to let that steep right here. Do its thing until it stops boiling over. I mean, you're eating them, so that means a good yeah. thing. It's probably affecting my camera work, so I apologize, guys. Oh, we're done. there. They go. Okay. Hand me another bowl. Oh, yep. I like my eggs cooked a little longer. I'm kind of weird. But we all know that. You're eccentric. I'm special. No, you're eccentric. <laughs> okay. So I got the spicier version. That's not bad. Do you want to try? Here. No. No. Okay. So those are the eggs. We'll check on the tea here in a second, guys, and the donuts. And we'll come back and try those for you, too. And we're back, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed our escapades, I guess. It's the right term for the for uh, the egg tasting in the kitchen. Uh, we did bring back the, um, the two different sizes of donuts here. We've got the, the large ones and the small ones. She has two different sizes of donut pans. But this, we used about half the batter. This is how many donuts came out of just that half amount of batter from the recipe. And then we've also got um, some tea to try too. So I'm going to try the tea first. That's got a kick to it too. <laughs> I'll clean your 
Ugh, clean your stuff out, man. Holy shit, that, that, I'm sorry. It's that peppercorn. No, I don't like that. It tastes like my great grandma's figure eight cookies. I think it tastes good. I taste like grandma That's some cookies. spicy tea, man. I mean, it's not like overly spicy, but I'm because it's like ground up in the liquid. It's like coating my throat, and it feels like I've got. Oh, you know, burn. I use the whole packet. I uh, bet that's why. Okay. I bet that that was my bad, but I still think it tastes good. It is a little spicy. Right, well, we got to try the donuts to get rid of the spiciness. So we'll try a big, big donut right here. They're very cakey. They're they're baked. Mm. So they're not gonna be like a fried donut. I taste the sugar. She put um what kind of sugar is this? It's just cinnamon and sugar on cinnamon the outside. Cinnamon and sugar on the outside. Well they're so warm you dip it in there. I don't know if I should have had the tea afterwards, but I still, I'm just tasting the tea still. I can taste the donut a little bit. I should add a little milk to your tea. Yeah, those are, those are pretty good. Maybe not as strong as I would have preferred them to be for pumpkin taste. Yeah, they're not very pumpkin-y. Even though there's like quite a bit of pumpkin in them. They're good though. Yeah, these are pretty good. I'll make the rest up later. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You like them? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think the donuts were probably my favorite. Egg second and then the <laughs> tea stuff. Yeah, I don't I don't really care for that. That might have been my bad. <clears throat> okay. It, I mean, it's it's pretty fun for the the type of subscription box it is. I know there's a whole bunch of different subscriptions out there where the ship you the ingredients or some parts of the ingredients um, to make certain recipes or certain things from around the world. I'd say all in all, this this November theme box is pretty pretty good as far as the, the flavor profiles. I don't really care for the tea all that much, but the other two things were pretty good. So I think from Beardy Leonis perspective you get two thumbs up um, and I'm not just saying that because it's free guys I did I am totally saying that I got it for free I didn't ask for it they sent it to me on their own accord they reached out to me and never asked for anything I just told them I'd give them my barely honest opinion and I have you guys got the raw edited video well, we might edit some of the kitchen stuff up just a little bit because my shaky shoddy camera work uh, I'm basically using a tripod to kind of you know hold it like this over the over the stove so you guys can kind of get the overhead shot but anyway definitely check out rawspicebar.com check out beerlyhonest.com if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe feel free to share this video as you think guys and as always if you have any questions or comments either hit up beerlyhonest.com at the contact us page comments down below till then have a nice day